from the Enrico Magnifico patron, go to collections, and then go to Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D 4K. Then scroll down until you see the show more button and the download it here will show up, which is the download link, and then click on it and download the 4K textures. While the textures are downloading, go to Retro Arch and then load the game with the Citro Core. Press the F1 on your keyboard and go to Core Options. And then here in the Enable Custom Textures, turn it on. And in the Resolution Scale Factor, change it to a higher resolution or you won't notice much of a difference in the 4K textures. And I also like to play with the large screen and the small screen. And now you can close down Retro Arch. Now go to where you have downloaded the textures and extract them. Now go inside of this folder. Go inside of the Zelda UU 3D folder. User, loads. And if you don't see a textures folder here, go to view and show. In items, for some reason, sometimes the textures folder is hidden. Then go inside of the textures folder. And then go inside of this folder and the textures are here. Now this is for the US version. And if you're using the PAL or the um, Japanese version, you will have to come inside of this folder and then copy all of the textures and then go to one of the other two, the Japanese or PAL. And then paste the textures and then copy this folder. But in this case, I'm using the US version. So I'm going to copy this folder here or cut. Then go to your retro arch folder. Go to saves, Citra, Citra again. And if you don't have a load folder in here, you can create it manually. Go to new, then create new folder, name it or call it load. And then inside of this folder, create a new folder called textures. And paste the, the other textures folder that we copied and paste it here. Now go back and run RetroArch. Load the Zelda 3D Ocarina of Time in the Citro core and the texture should be working correctly.